Welcome back to Cave Story, played by everyone's favorite Christian family-friendly Let's Player, Colorful Artie. Well, I mean, a few people's favorite. Alright, first- oh, I thought there was more over that way. There's not. Oh well, well, at least we got full HP. So today, we are going into this room. And we need the gum key to get in here. And we are in a room called Gum. No, no joke, that's seriously what it's called. Ah, uh, fireball or polar star? I'm gonna use polar star. If we open this, we get the gum base. And it's misery. Hey, you again. Do you remember me? That's right, in Mimiga Village. I didn't notice at the time, but now I remember. Aren't you that soldier from the surface? I don't know how you were able to stay alive. Misery! That's the enemy! He might even be stronger than you, Misery! Is that so? Well, it's a good thing this soldier is your job. Break him for sure this time, then come back. Croak. Yep, it's the boss of the bushlands! Balfrog. No joke. Actually, he's still called Balrog, but... I prefer the name Balfrog, I feel like it's more appropriate given the nature of the battle. So basically he'll hop around, he'll drop little frogs on top of you, they can die in one hit though, and then you just use the fans to move over his head. He'll open his mouth, shoot stuff at you, and then you can blast him in the face. Also, the boss music in this is great, so... I just wanted to show that off. Hi, dude. Yeah, once you know how to do it, this boss fight actually is not all that hard. Had to say that out loud. I forgot about that part. Let's pull out our missile launcher. Oh, look at all that damage. That is the power of the level 3 missile launcher. Goodbye, Balrog. I mean, Balfrog. We defeated Balfrog. Yeah, so Misery is a witch, in case you didn't know. She's got three magic powers. We better save. Bushlands is deadly. Okay, I forget. I did go in here, right? Yeah, I did. I like to avoid those guys and shoot them from the back, if at all possible. Also, you want to go into the Bushlands Hut because you get a missile expansion. Oh, I totally forgot about this! I actually did not do this on my initial playthrough, uh, like my first attempt at a Let's Play. I totally forgot about that boss. Red flower petals litter the floor. There's nothing in the fireplace, darn it. I totally forgot about that, actually. I'm glad I went up there. Alright, we should have all the ingredients now needed to make the bomb. More missiles. Thank you. Dun, 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 bushlands, it's got catchy music, yeah. Alright. Have you gathered all the materials? Oh, it's some charcoal, and jellyfish juice, and the gum base too. I will commence making the bomb immediately. It is complete. And we get the bomb. Now go and blow up that door. No need to say twice. Color Fardy loves blowing stuff up. In video games. Is that bomb ready yet? Yeah, it is. The bomb has been set. Boom. Alright. You did well, boy. 
Just one look and I knew. I knew you could do it. Um, my name is Kazuma Sakamoto. But please call me Kazuma. Luckily, I was able to escape from the doctor, but then I was teleported here. I felt It felt like I was about to die of total starvation. You're a real lifesaver. By the way, have you heard of a place called Namega Village? Sue? You know Sue? I see. So you've come to get me in place of Sue. I understand. Let's go! Take me to the village. Hmm? Is that you, Kazuma? Professor Booster! So you're safe! Yes, somehow. And how's Sue? Is she safe? Sue's in Mimiga Village. This boy will get us there. Oh. Do you know him? No. Um, actually, we just met. Anyway, let's hurry and get to Sue's location. The doctor has started to gather the Mimiga. It appears he's taken notice of the red flowers. But Sue is a... Will the red flowers work on Sue as well? Just like the others? Kazuma, the doctor has commenced snatching the Mimiga. Do you understand what this means? So the doctor in the war? That's right. And now we're the only ones who can stop them. But how are we going to stop the doctor? I have an idea. At any rate, let's hurry and get back to Sue. We'll discuss when we're there. I want you to come too. Hmm, interesting. I think missiles fully ex yeah. Use of this teleporter is currently suspended. Well, that's a shame. I'm counting on you. Lead us to Mimiga Village. Kazuma. Yes? Does that thing work? Yeah, looks like it still does. It won't stop! Well, at least they're on their way in the right direction. So the plot thickens. The doctor's doing something for a war, apparently. And he started snatching all of the Mimiga in the villages, so that's not good. Bubble line is useful here. Of course I didn't save in there. Alright, let's try this again. Like I said, saving in Cave Story a lot. That is something you like need to do. Oh look, it happened again! Well, I saved this time, so... Oh, that's right, we need to watch this every time we leave. Those spikes, let me tell ya. I'm not, I'm not a big fan when platforming games, or just games in general, abuse the instant death mechanic. How dare you beat me up! I can incinerate you all! Alright. Enough with the bubble line, it's too... It takes too long. There we go! Okay, cool. Out of my way! Yeah, take this! Take this! Yes! Eat my fireballs! Might as well get another jellyfish juice while we're at it. I don't think we need it again in the entire game, but it never hurts to have some backup. Oh, I love I love the combination of guns you have. You got whoa. That bike Kazuma was riding looks like it has had better days. What did they do on that thing? I mean, good grief. Hey Santa, have you seen anybody? I heard a crash of some kind. Oh, well, then I saw what sounded like someone screaming. Well, okay then.
teleport to Arthur's house? You bet. Were weapons of death? Yes. The doctor plans to use the red flowers to have all of you attack the humans. Why would he do such an awful thing? The doctor is like a devil. Will he force Taroko to eat the red flower? The doctor is still searching for the red flower. It's good if he hasn't found the location yet. But if... If he finds the red flower, Taroka will be... She'll be filled with rage and turn into a weapon of death. I won't let that happen! Ouch. Are you okay? Yes. But I really thought that we weren't going to make it. Kazuma! And Professor Booster! Oh! How have you been? Surviving. And that Mimiga is? His name is Keen. He's the leader of this village, and also a friend of mine. Aw, oh, looks like they patched things out. Many Mimiga used to live here in Mimiga Village, but most of them were taken away to the doctor. Keen's friends were also. Good work. The bike is a complete wreck, but somehow we made it. The doctor's scheme is moving along this plan. We need to hurry and do something about it. Taroko is a weapon of death. I won't allow it! Welcome back! Seems like I owe you yet another one. With Kazuma here, I'm sure we'll be able to handle the password for that egg. Professor Booster, can we bring him along? Professor. Sue, our escape must be put on hold for now. The doctor has found the location of the red flowers. Huh? As of yet, he doesn't have his hands on them, but it's only a matter of time before he does. Their location is in Sand Zone. I've heard that's where the Red Flowers are. Sand Zone? So if we go there, we'll find the Doctor? <clears throat> I fear that it's the Doctor's minions that will presumably go. We must eradicate the Red Flowers before they get their hands on them. However, Sand Zone is a very dangerous place. If we go there, whether or not we can make it back isn't... Are you giving up, then? Actually, no. We have just the right person here with us now. You. What is he? Hmm, well... He's an armed recon robot that was dispatched to this island ten years ago. A robot?! I had heard that they were all destroyed after the war. However, I don't know the exact details. Perhaps one of them. Professor. I've connected us to the Sand Zone teleporter. Hmm. You are the most ideal among us here to search the island. Please help us. So, it turns out we are actually a robot. Pretty neat. We also, so we're a robot with memory loss on an island uh, doing reconnaissance. So that's interesting. And this uh, leads us to the next world, which is Sand Zone. Home of deadly enemies and amazing music. Also, this girl. We'll see more of her in just a little bit. Oh, I forgot! Those are not platforms, those are bugs. So let's just take out the ones that are in our way. Then we can go up here and enter this place. Sand Zone Residence, and it's that girl, and a bunch of little, cute little Mamiga. Ah! Hey! Look, a visitor after such a long time! I know what you want to do, but you better wake up. The Mamiga aren't the enemy. They're totally harmless. I feel sorry for you. I'm on the Mamiga side, and I'm not going to lose to you. I didn't- I don't really want to have to fight you. I don't want to have to fight the Mamiga either. So yeah. This girl's got a machine gun, and it is a deadly weapon. Sorry. I didn't want to have to do that. But we won! You got me. We've been defeated. Do you plan on disposing of the Mimiga? No. Oh! 
Are you on the Mimiga side too? I know, it's not their fault. I'm Curly Brace. We've been with these little ones since before I can remember. Or, I mean, I've been with these little ones since before I can remember. I don't recall anything before that. Apparently, it's so-called memory loss. I may have been a Mimiga killer just like the other robots. Oh! You're Polar Star. It's frashed pretty badly. Want to trade it for my machine gun? So... The Polar Star, your default gun, you can trade it for different guns throughout the game. There are three different guns you could get for the Polar Star. First one up here is the machine gun. If it's your first time playing, get the machine gun. It is so good. Like, it's rapid fire, so like, I know the Polar Star is rapid fire, but I have to mash the fire button in order to do that. For the machine gun, you just hold down the button and it'll rapidly fire. Um, it has like a lit, it, like the bubble line, it's got like 100 bullets that have to recharge after like a while, but that's really just like a technicality, you'll hardly ever run out of ammo. And at level 3, not only is it super powerful, but you can literally fly with it. So, it's very useful, however, if you're trying to get the golden ending, it is actually best to hold off on it. Because you can get an even better weapon later on. Oh yeah? You can come back anytime if you end up changing your mind or something. Yeah. Like I said, machine gun is really good on your first playthrough, but it's not the best option. Yeah! I want to eat some tasty fish! Yeah! You must remove the curse to move the sunstones. Be careful with those sand crocs. They'll bite suddenly if you dare walk directly on the sand. That's important to remember. And they'll take a big chunk out of you. Are you looking for red flowers? The old lady named Jenka might know something about them. Oh yeah, one thing. If you go to her house, you should take the dog next to the bed. Look in the next room. Okay. There's a doggy. Arf! Do you want to bring him along? Yeah, sure. Picked up the dog. Also, a weird thing you can do in this room. Yeah, you can go out here. So you see all the guns going up there? Now we're up on top. If we fall down here and push down... There's a hidden easter egg in here. I'm not crazy, there is something hidden in here. I don't know why it's not letting me get it, though. Maybe it's because I've done it before. Basically, if you go in there and you haven't done this before, you can get an item called Curly's Underwear. It's really weird, but that actually unlocks Curly's story. I don't know why, though. And let's see... I've been playing for a while, but... I'll save here, but I'm going to continue just a little bit more, since I'm probably going to cut out that part where I died a few times. No one wants to see me replay the first, same part over and over again. So yeah, the Sand Crocs are an enemy we'll be facing very soon, and they're very annoying. Because they pop literally out of nowhere. Also, these Sun Guys... They split into little suns if you kill them, but they also give you a lot of experience. Which is very useful if you chose to get the machine gun, because it starts at level 1. And you really want it to be at level 3 at all times. And we can get a life capsule if we go up here. Pretty easy. Plus 5 life. Oh yeah. Right there. Yep, that's a sand croc. Anytime you see sand with bones in it, there's a sand croc in there. That's how you know. The key is just don't touch the ground in this area. But sometimes you apparently have to. Oh no, my I got a level down? Oh, oh yeah, that's better. Okay, you can also just run like that and he'll miss you. Whoosh! Excellent. And believe me, we're, up com we're coming up to a boss pretty soon. You want to have full HP. Well, then again, you want to have full HP for, like, every boss, but... And I guess this one isn't too terribly hard, so... Eh, do what you want. 
Also, you see that dog print up there? Yeah, dog print blocks you can pass through in this area. Brings us to another save, and I think I'm going to stop here. Thanks for watching. I'm Color Forty. If you tune in for the next episode, we'll be exploring much more of the Sand Zone. Have a great day, and God bless.